Hey guys, it's Sam. Um, today I thought I would do a detailed, or detailed, um, highlighting and contouring routine. Thought I would let you guys know how I do my contour, how I do my highlight, things like that. You know, the good stuff. The good stuff. So with no further ado, enjoy this week's video. Okay, so I've already done all of my makeup except for the contour. Except for the contour and highlighting. The point of a contour is to kind of set back the area that has the, con the contour on it and kind of make it look like it has a shadow on it. So you're going to want to put that right underneath the cheekbone, right underneath where you want the cheekbone to be, or right in the temple where you want it to kind of look like it's sucked in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right underneath where I want my cheekbone to look. Sometimes I put it on the corners of my jaw just to kind of take the harsh, the harshness out of the corners. If you don't contour the top, it kind of takes away from the illusion that you're creating with the contour underneath your cheekbones. So I think if you bring it up and continue the dimension throughout your entire face, it'll really help trick other people's perception to thinking that you are chiseled to for the gods or some. I don't know, you're just really chiseled. You're really chiseled. I'm gonna blend it away with just a thick blending brush. When you're blending it, you wanna make sure that you're not going too far away from where you put down the product because you put it there for a reason. And if you move it around too much, it'll start to look messy. I am gonna bring this up, but I'm gonna do it on purpose because it's gonna just round out my forehead a little bit more. I don't know exactly how much of the contour the camera is picking up right now, but if you can see it, it's on there. It's pretty dark in real life, but you never know with cameras, so. See, so next I am taking this brown gray eyeshadow, and I'm just going to make these contours just a little bit cooler and a little bit more gray, just so they kind of resemble shadows more than orange on my face. Take it with the pain So there we go, my contour is done. Um, the eyeshadow is also good because it kind of sets the concealer contour. Um, it's, it sets it nicely and so yeah. Next I'm going to be doing the highlighting. Oh, I forgot to take it out. I'm gonna be taking a concealer that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And I usually do this part when I'm doing my foundation just because it's like it's like just my concealer routine, but I think it's really highlighting, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in also. So I start the highlight up here because I don't know if you can see it, but I have these two pockets on either side to put the um, concealer on either sides of my nose, just so I don't have to do such a dark contour down the sides of my nose to get that contoured look. Sometimes I also bring it right up here just to make my cheekbones look lighter. I'm going to be taking this, I'm going to be going right up here to make my forehead look a bit smaller. It just kind of focuses it right here. It makes my forehead look this tiny. I'm also going to put it right in between my eyebrows and right onto the bridge of my nose. And then I'm just going to drag it down the center of my nose to finish the highlight thing I was telling you guys about. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend it all in. After I blend out all that concealer, I really like to put a translucent powder under there to, just to make sure I set all of the concealer so that it doesn't crease throughout the day or look cakey or look wet or anything like that because that would be bad. <sighs> so. The last step of my highlighting and contouring routine is the big highlighter that I used. I just put it on this blush brush and put it right on the tops of my cheekbones and on the tip of my nose. Okay, so that completes today's tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. This is the finished look for the contouring and highlighting. Hope you like it. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. I hope you guys found it helpful or informative or anything like that. 
Um, if you like these kind of videos, these tutorial, how-to, comment down below and let me know that you like it, and I will do more of them. Uh, but other than that, I don't think I have anything else to say, um, and I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye!